what is up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video and it is florida state time trial weekend as you can see the trusty steed back there and we just got to the hotel about i don't know 30 minutes or so ago and i wish we would have gotten up here a lot earlier because i wanted to pre-ride the course but it was already uh getting dark so i didn't have enough time of course it's a friday so i had to work uh, and felicia had to work as well but I did go. Um, I did go to the course, and we did drove on it. I just wanted to see what the um, what the surface looked like to see if there was a lot of holes. Um, see what the corners look like. It is not. It's not really technical. It is pretty straightforward course out and back. Um, there is the first like mile or two. There is a lot of um, like holes and bad pavement. But aside from that, everything else is um, is pretty good. So no, no problem on that. Uh, it was like a four and a half hour drive and honestly it was nice we took the back roads rather than going on the highway and i just had a big bowl of pretty much just plain rice with a little bit of lean ground beef and that is going to be it for me today i'm like i'm at like 600 grams of carbs i'm also having um some electrolytes and that'll be pretty that pretty much be it i'll go take a shower after felicia's done and then i'm going to go to bed and uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun day man i'm so excited this is my first ever time trial and uh yeah i went for a long one 40k it's uh pacing is gonna play a big big role um when i was out there i was looking at the wind you're really not sheltered regardless where the wind is coming from um you're really not sheltered from it so pacing is gonna be really really uh, important tomorrow but yeah, i'm i'm so excited for this and uh got the trusty uh steed back there and she's looking clean man i didn't even want to put her on the bike rack because she's so damn clean i spent like an hour and a half uh last night cleaning everything up tidying everything up making sure that everything was all right but uh yeah guys i'm gonna go shower and that's gonna be pretty much i'm gonna go lay down uh, watch some tv or whatever just wind down get a good night of sleep because that's gonna be really really important and i'll catch you guys tomorrow morning morning guys welcome to race day i'm about just under two hours from my official start time but we're like five minutes from uh race start. i woke up this morning at like around seven or so i had a really good night of sleep i feel good um i had breakfast of champions aka frosted flake cereal uh with the marshmallow ones of course and i uh, took the boys for a walk and now we're just uh just about to get there i gotta get the number when i get there and uh get the martin bike car ready so i can have it as soon as possible but it says you should have it between an hour and a half and two hours before the actual effort or the event the race um and that's what i'm about right now like an hour and 45 or so so as soon as i get there that's the first thing i'm going to do go get the number um and yeah i'm uh not gonna lie i'm a little bit nervous but i think that's normal when you want to do good at something and it's not like i put pressure on myself but i mean i do put pressure on myself but to do good um, just it's gonna be a long effort a one-hour effort it's gonna be fun though I'm really really excited and I just don't know what to expect this being my first time trial that's why I think I'm a little bit nervous um, if I would have done a couple before these then I'd know what to expect and you know kind of how the rhythm goes how I'm gonna feel but because I never done one I don't know you know how it's gonna be but super excited and uh, yeah we're almost there I'll catch you guys there
All right, boys, this is it. Uh, we'll go warm up and then it's race time. You got this. All right, guys, so as you saw, I ended up getting third place on the Florida State Time Trial Championships. And for some of you that have been watching my videos for a bit, you'll be like, wow, Dennis, that must be a really disappointing result because you won three out of the five races that you've done in the four months of this year or in this season. And that couldn't be further away from the truth, guys. I had so much fun. This was such an amazing race. And this being my first time trial, it was just incredible to be honest i had a lot a lot of fun one of the funnest races i've done and guys it is so hard to win every single race like you of course you go out there with the mentality that you want to win every single race but if you're if i mean being honest it is really hard there's like 30 20 40 guys out there just like you who are trying to win this race and at the end of the day yes it's going to come down to legs it's going to come down to um you know who can suffer more it's going to come down who has the better training who did the better taper but at the end of the at the end of the day you could have the best taper the best legs and log runs out and you end up losing that race so i've been very lucky um in all the races that i won since the season started but this third place guys it is not disappointing at all now this was not a, a, like a goal event for me this year. I literally added this to my calendar, um, I don't know, like a month and a half or so ago when I first got the time trial bike. I had never in my life ridden a time trial bike. And that's why I'm so happy with the effort and I'm okay with the third place. And don't worry, we'll go into all the details and we'll talk about the numbers and how I felt and all that um, a little bit further into the video. But now I just wanna clear that up. Guys, this is not a disappointing result. And yes, we do wanna win everything. We wanna win every single race um that we do but sometimes you have to add and this is uh, I'm, I'm talking about this here at the end of the video because this is something everybody should do and you should look at your season as an overall picture not just a race per race or a result based season because that is not the right way to do it and yes um you're probably sitting there and saying well dennis yeah but you already won three races you got two podiums at the other two so easy for you to say but it wasn't always that way guys it wasn't always that way i put in a lot of work i put in a lot of effort and i think that's why time trialing is a little bit different and i think that's why i enjoyed it so much because time trial yes uh, i feel like it's gonna i mean you gotta have luck but at the end of the day it's a solo effort like there's nobody i mean there's people around you but there's nobody helping you you're not drafting anybody it's just you um you against your head against your your legs and you know all of that so it does come down to who had the better training who has the most experience on the time trial bike i think that is the biggest the biggest uh difference here who has the biggest experience of the yeah the the widest the biggest experience on the time trial bike all right guys so now let's go over some of the numbers and i'll put them i have them right here on the phone but i also put them on the screen for you guys to see and everything i'm saying take it with a grain of salt guys i am new to this i everything that i know about positioning about cda all these all these time trial related things i learned that in about a month and a half like listen to podcasts reading a lot of stuff online forums things like that uh facebook groups and that might not be the best place to learn about time trials but that's just what i did i had no other um uh, way of just learning you know it was just such a short amount of training to go into a state um level race so the first 10 miles I did him under 20 minutes. It was a 1945 and I averaged 30.4 miles an hour. 
and then the 20k was under 25 minutes that was at 24 38 at 30.3 miles an hour 30k 38 36 at 29 miles an hour and the 40k 52 45 so under 53 minutes at 28.3 miles an hour or 45 kilometers an hour so really really fast effort now um so like i said 52 56 was the 40k and the average 45.5 kilometers an hour at an average power of 295 and a, a normalized power of 298 so the um well i put the numbers for you guys on the screen but the uh my wind sock my wind belt whatever it's called man i can't remember uh it's giving me a cda of 0.199 and for all, from what i've been reading and guys that actually done testing with the aero sensor and the um the cda from this app it is actually very very close so um yeah i think that's a pretty good cda because it is under a 0.2 um like i said take that with a grain of salt i am not sure i'm learning all of this as i go along but I think guys i could have gone faster and of course we're always going to say that we're just going to say i have more in the tank i could have gone faster but no i generally could have gone faster because um so going going out with a tailwind coming back with a headwind is always going to be the harder um, way of pacing an effort and this being my first tt and being a 40k that was a long effort guys um so if it would have been different uh like with the headwind out tailwind back you just go hard on the on the headwind and then just survive on the way back pretty much but it is such a fine line and that's when experience comes into play like it's such a fine line when you're going out with a tailwind like how hard do i go how much do i hold back and i feel that's where i lost a lot of time because i didn't know how hard to go or how easy to go so when i when i got to the turnaround it was just under 25 minutes um i was at 292 watts and i'm gonna be honest 290 watts uh going into this effort felt like that was gonna be like an amazing day if i went like over 290 and i got to the turnaround point i was at 290 is four watts per kilo for me um so i went into a turnaround i was at 292 and the way i felt was like wow i feel like i haven't gone hard yet so on the way back i increased the pace for the last 35 minutes or so um or 30 minutes i averaged yeah like 35 minutes i averaged 300 watts so i i increased about eight watts on the way back but then i also realized within the last like five seven minutes or so i still had too much left in the tank and i could see the banners like i was getting close to i stepped up once again and i feel that's where i lost a lot of time because that would have been better used throughout the entire effort rather than in the last like five five minutes you're not going to make up that much time in the last five minutes rather than using that uh, throughout the entire effort but that's like i said that's where time traveling experience comes into play and that's what i don't have but now let's go over the numbers because actually the results so i finished third on the category three but the guy that finished first guys he got the second fastest overall time including the pro one two i got the fifth fastest time of the day including the pro one two the guy that finished second on the cat three he was less than 15 seconds for me guys and i mean i have to mention it guys i was running my front wheels a 57 um a rental same that i showed my videos before and my rear was a 62 so i wasn't even running deep section wheels i feel that if i would have had and this might have not been the case you guys can tell me uh, what you guys think about this in the description on the comments down below um but i think if i would have had a this wheel and a deeper like 80 millimeter front for sure i would have gotten second on the cat threes because 14 seconds I think I would have definitely made that up at the same power and everything that I was doing, but uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. But like I said, I'm very happy with the effort. The guy that finished, uh, so the guy that finished first in Cat 3, he was like 50, 45 seconds uh, faster than me or so. And these guys have been state champs before. They know what they're doing, right? And the, so the guy that won like the fastest overall time of the day, the guy did, uh, I think he did like a, 50 like a low 51 so he was like a minute and five seconds faster than me guys so yes that seems like a big uh like a big gap like a big amount of time but guys it's a 52 minute effort it's a long effort but like i said that's where time trialing is is just such a nice 
uh, sport and why, why I really enjoy it a lot because this is you against you. You don't know what everybody else is doing. You don't know how good of a day they're having. You don't know how bad of a day they're having. So um, that's why I really, really enjoy this effort. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. A lot of cool things coming. I'm actually racing tomorrow again, the Florida Crit Championships, uh, which I won at this course before. So I'm excited to go there. Um, and I'm heading out to California on Wednesday. So like three days from now, uh, I'll be out in California. So if some of you guys, I will be there for Sea Otter weekend. So if some of you guys are out there around that area and you want to link up, please let me know. I never even been to California. So I have no idea what I'm going to be doing out there for the days uh, leading up to the circuit race and the, and the Sea Otter weekend race. Um, so I'll be there for a couple days riding around exploring. So even if you're not around there, but you've been there and you have uh, some nice routes or places that I should go and um, you know just enjoy right around or speci or a specific route send them to me on Strava or message me on Instagram whatever you guys um, prefer but I'll really, really enjoy that and I'll actually like to uh, link up with the group if you guys are out there as well but that's gonna be it for this one guys I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one